Now retrieve the installation hardware kit, which was removed from the window frame during unpacking. The kit should include two turnbuckles, one length of aircraft cable, four aircraft cable clamps, two sets of eye bolts, one long, one short, four flat washers and hex nuts, two clips, four plugs or screw covers. For proper installation, you will need to add a new weather barrier. Remember, Gorel follows RLC1 installation instructions. This particular installation requires the addition of an exterior weather barrier. Apply a weather barrier, starting at the bottom as you would with weatherboard. Come up to the opening and then install a full sill pan beneath the bay window. Next, continue the flashing up the jams, overlapping it again in weatherboard fashion. Apply a bead of sealant down the jam to prepare the window. Use a piece of coil stock to create a flashing flange that should be stapled into the bedding bead of the sealant, then extended roughly three inches below the sill of the window. Next, prepare the opening for attaching the cable anchors. In this case, they will be connected directly to the rafter tails. In other situations, they will be anchored with eye bolts to the vertical plane of the wall. Use long eye bolts with masonry facades. The shorter eye bolts are for use with vinyl siding or acrylic stucco facades. Loop the cable around the rafter tail. Secure it with a cable anchor clamp. Now repeat the process for the other turnbuckle. Do this at two locations, one for each of the top turnbuckles. Place the turnbuckle in position. Now it's time for the window. On the other end of the turnbuckle, install the turnbuckle clips. Bolt these clips to the top of the tie rod at the head of the window. Apply a 3 8 inch bead of sealant to the exterior surface of the wall or down the jams to the interior side of the flashing that was applied earlier to the window frame. This sealant will act as a bedding bead between the new window and the exterior surface of the wall. Next, apply two continuous beads of sealant across the sill pan. These beads should extend approximately 6 inches up the jams. Once all the sealant has been applied, place the window into the opening. Enlist the help of others for this task. RLC Level 1 recommends at least three people or one person for each mullion in the window that is being lifted. When the window is set into the sill, the jam flashing should overlap the sill flashing. Hold the window in place temporarily while it is shimmed and secured on the inside. These shims should always be used in pairs so that the jam doesn't twist or rack. Pre-drill any installation holes for screw fasteners. Use only fasteners that are of adequate length to penetrate at least one inch into the rough frame condition. Fasteners should be driven directly through any shims so the shims can't fall or be pushed out of place. In some cases, it may be necessary to trim the shims if you're working in a blind wall cavity. This bay window was ordered with an optional light kit. The opening was prepared and the wiring completed prior to placing the window in the opening. Continue to shim around the window opening, pre-drilling fastener holes directly through the shims and anchoring them temporarily. Gorel bow and bay windows come with level bulbs on the jams. Please use them. These bulbs have been preset to ensure that the window tips slightly outward to allow for effective drainage through the integrated sill scupper system. Once all anchors are in place, test fit the jam boards. Make sure that the jam closure boards cover your anchors. Then finish shimming and installing screws. After you've checked the plumb, level, and square, install the anchor screws around the perimeter about every 16 inches on center. Then trim off the excess shims. Next, fill the cavity between the new window frame and the rough window opening. In this case, we're using loose fiberglass batting. Don't pack the fiberglass too tightly. 
With the inside of the window anchored, go to the exterior side and mount the turnbuckles into the clips at the head of the window. Tighten them only hand tight. Do not use a wrench or screwdriver. These buckles are capable of holding a substantial amount of weight. Over-tensioning these buckles can cause operational problems in the casement windows of bow and bay systems. With the turnbuckles and cable anchors in place, reinstall the sashes, connect all the connecting arms, and check that the windows operate properly. Another situation that must be addressed is the headboard. The head of every bow or bay window that fully extends outside the house must be insulated. The insulation should be loosely packed and filled above the head. Packing it too tightly can disrupt airflow, in this case around the lighting system. Leave enough airspace around the lights for proper cooling. Now install the center picture window. Be sure you have sufficient help as these units can be quite large and heavy. The window mounts on a set of hinges just like the operating sashes. Swing the window into place, then insert and tighten the anchor screws. Next, working outside, complete the head of the bow or bay window. In this case, it's finished directly to the overhead soffit. In other situations, you may need to build a roof over this area. In a situation like the one shown here, you can use the provided skid boards as an anchoring point for attaching the flake board. Cover this with a weather barrier material such as flashing, soffit, or siding to match the look of the home's exterior. Next, apply another 3 8 inch bead of sealant on top of the flashing, making sure that every corner is sealed. Reinstall any exterior siding, stucco, or weatherboard. Now, finish the interior. Install the jam board and closure boards. Finish wiring the light kit. Install the casing, then fill any screw holes, nail holes, or trim joints to ensure that they're neat and tight. Now clean the work site and retouch any paint or trim. Finally, review the job with the homeowner. Explain the operation of the windows, answer any questions, and give the homeowner the labels from the windows. These contain important cleaning, energy star, and order information for future reference. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please contact your Gorel customer service representative. Also, remember to follow safe work practices at the job site. We appreciate the work you do to install Gorel windows. We want you to know that we're dedicated to providing you with the absolute finest doors and windows in the industry. Thank you from all of us at Gorel.